this is Tsukihime. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Banished. Um, last time we had a famine. Everybody died. Almost everybody. And now we're trying to rebuild from that. We've managed to get a stockpile of food, which is great. Uh, this episode we're going to finish building the schoolhouse. And we also got a couple of other things I'm going to have to look at. One of which is a blacksmith, another of which is a tailor. Gonna need to get both of those on the go. And it's winter again. Or is it? Yes, it's winter again. Great. Um, let's see, tailor. Need to get... If, if we can at least get the buildings up. I mean, we'll, we'll work around it. That's a building. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to cancel that one. Re re nope, not remove resources. There. Okay. Put it in the wrong spot. I'm really OCD with my buildings, as you can tell. Just like Minecraft, I'm right OCD about stuff. There we go. And blacksmith. I'll actually put the blacksmith right here. And build a dirt path for him. Alright. They'll be they'll just beaver away at it. I'm not gonna worry too much about what they're doing, about how fast they're doing that, because we don't really need it that badly yet. But we will be needing it. It's in anticipation of something actually happening. Make sure I'm recording here, yep. Okay. And now the uh the farmer twins, Theodore and Jammy, they are now twelve years old. Almost old enough to have children. <laughs> uh, this is illegal. Just saying, this is illegal. <laughs> okay, um, and this is even more illegal. What the hell? Okay. Okay, so the food stores are going up. We got enough firewood. For now. Well, we got a lot of iron. A lot of stone, and nothing to do with it. So I'm hoping that some people will just actually do something with this. Oh, I'm chopping down trees. That's good. Alright, let's speed up time, because it's winter and I can't stand winter. It's one of my more favorite seasons in real life, but I, um... In Banished, not so much. A child named Treen was born. I wonder if she's gonna be a woodcutter. I knew it. They have a kid. <laughs> they're 12 years old and they're having kids. Okay, um... Well, we can't have anybody in the schoolhouse yet because we have no one freed up to be a teacher. Which is fine. No rush for that. I wanted to have it up. Just like the tailor and the blacksmith. I just wanted to have the buildings up. For when we get enough people. I'm going to try to get a tailor first, because it looks like we still got six tools left. So we're building a nice little center here. Everybody's healthy because they all got herbs. I don't reserve a stone as low. Well, we don't need any more stone for now, so I'm not too worried. Okay, they're building the tailor. The single soul builder. I try not to have them clear resources and such while it's winter time because they'll freeze to death. The only ones I'll have them clear is stuff close to the roads like this stuff. And maybe that because it's bothering me. Okay, so the iron should be good for now. This is supposed to be a nice, calm, relaxing game, but I'm expecting myself to just pop off or something. Okay, the herbalist is at capacity. And the tailor is finished. Okay, you're now a 13-year-old gatherer. Let's say Guila. Guilia is going to be an adult soon. Get 
get rid of that little bit of stone that's up there. Actually, now that it's springtime, let's get rid of that. And a little bit more stone. The more stone we get right now, the better. The iron doesn't help, too. So this episode, I might actually try to get a bridge across here, because I'd like to expand more out into this direction, too. Ah, there we go. Gwilia is now a laborer. Welcome to the workforce. You are now a tailor. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like actually I'm going to remove the herbalist job, and I'm going to give her the job of being a teacher. Welcome to teaching hood. Don't worry, the next person that becomes an adult is going to be a blacksmith. Don't work, don't tell me a reserve of tools is low. Getting some stone, yes. Okay, so I'm probably going to make two bridges to start off. One going this way and one going across here like this. Okay, looks like we're starting to get clothing back. I'm going to keep making hide coats for now. Maybe when our numbers start coming back up again, maybe I'll be able to make make a trader. Oh, people starting to run out of tools. That's not good. Okay, so you're now a teacher. You're a tailor. Your limit's 250, because I don't want you running out. I gotta get first person who becomes an adult becomes a blacksmith. I have determined. Or maybe I'll make that fish, uh, one of the fishermen. No, there's only one fisherman left. Ah, two more people. Elisha, Marcel, and Wall. Nice. Two more people to add to the potential workforce. Okay, that's where Wall lives. And Alicia Marcel is already one years old. I'm not sure how that happens. Timothy has become a student. So when they're students, they uh, take longer to become an adult, obviously, because they're going to spend a couple of years in school. But it's all worth it in the end. There's apparently a glitch where if you put them into school and then like suddenly unassign the teacher and then reassign it, all the students will become adults that are really good at stuff. That's a glitch that I'm not going to exploit if I can avoid it. But if the teacher dies and they all get released to the general public, there's not much I can do about it, huh? Okay, so... Late autumn. We got enough food, so I think maybe I'll... Well, this place isn't even built yet. Come on. Give me more logs. More give me logs are giving me death. Actually, I'd rather logs. Thanks. Harvest trees. I'm going to harvest all these trees. The forester will replant them. Now how are they going to chop down trees with their bare hands? Well, they'll do it, looks like. Come on, we need more... Need more logs. Because we need a blacksmith. We really need a blacksmith. We're out of tools. And running out of tools makes the uh, makes the people unhappy, I think. I think it might also increase their chances of getting sick too. Could be wrong. Let's scan around. You're still there by yourself. Get someone to move in with you. Jeez, stop hogging the house to yourself. 
I might build a couple of houses over here just to... Just so that, like, a couple of people can work into these places. They don't have so far to go. Ah, good. Looks like this winter wasn't too bad. So we're late in winter four. So we're going to be in, wi in uh, spring five now in another few seconds. Good. Build faster. Oh boy. Time for them to move their furniture around upstairs again. Man, the sooner we get this blacksmith, the sooner we can get these tool icons to go away. Everybody just watching him work. <laughs> child named Andro was born. Where is Andro? You're here. Okay. I think I should probably build a couple more houses because it looks like this Arthro man is probably too stingy to give up his house to a couple. make a couple more houses. I really don't want to, but I'm gonna have to. One right here, one right here. Now I made this place here on purpose so I can have houses, so let's have houses. Alright, so we got four new houses that can potentially go up. Still only one student. Jeez, when I was 19 years old, I used to love having a house to myself. I can only imagine how he feels. Okay, blacksmith is done. Um, who am I gonna have be a blacksmith? A tornado? So soon? Oh no. Where is it? Oh no, this is not good. This tornado better just pass me by because there's... I can't, I can't be ready for this. I'm not ready for it. Um, let's continue on with the hopes that it ignores us. I have a funny feeling it's gonna go right straight through the village, but... Oh, this is not good. This is actually extremely bad. Wow, what bad luck. Um, this is really, really, really bad. Um, okay, woodcutter, I can't get rid of you. Every, every position here is important. Get rid of a gatherer and make you a blacksmith. I don't even know where this tornado is coming from. Is it over here? It usually starts around the edge of a map, I think. And this path can change at random. Okay, still nothing. Oh, why did you give me a tornado? Why did people upstairs make a racket? Oh, there he is. Where is he headed? Headed across that way. Okay, it might, it, it might actually avoid me. I'm gonna like, just not look at it and hopefully that does it. <laughs> I don't want to speed it up because it Tornado tends to crash my game, and I don't want it to crash while I'm here, recording anyway. So I'm just not going to look at it and hope that it doesn't bother me anymore. So what kind of stuff can I make here? A steel tool or an iron tool? I find I never make steel tools, so I just make iron tools, but that's just me.
Okay, where is it? I don't see it. This worries me. Oh, is it gone? No, I still hear it, but is it gone? I think it's gone. And that was the path it took. You can tell, because it's just uh, nothing but a line of destruction. I don't see it anymore. I think it might actually be gone. Although, for some reason, I can still hear it. Alright, I, I want to make absolutely certain that this tornado is gone, because it's just... Because if it's not, I'm going to be very upset. Okay, I think... We might be safe. Access the path it took, and then it just vanished. So I think it might actually have just went away. Okay, I'm going to assume that it went away, and I'm just going to move on with life. Okay, phew, we had a close call. I had a huge village of about 400 people and a tornado touched down and yeah it was it was disastrous it was a good thing I had a couple of boarding houses or it would be a lot of homeless people tore right through a residential district and killed just about everybody it's nice to look around like just to slow down and watch this you're idling you're a student and you're working, Theodore, as a student? I thought you were a farmer. Oh, they, they gave up their life of farming, and now they're a blacksmith and a tailor. <laughs> uh, I got three students now. Keep making that leather. Alright, let's speed up time. Looks like we're safe. And yes, I am ca still going around here looking for it. No, nope, it's gone. Okay. That's good. I don't want to see it anyway. Okay, let's see. Well, it looks like Theodore and Jammy now have two kids, so that's pretty good. None of them are going to school yet, but I'm sure one of them will eventually. I know the reserve of tools is low. He's working! Look, see? He's working at it! He's using up all my iron. Don't worry, you guys will have your tools. Yes, I know the reserve of tools and logs is low. <laughs> uh... Okay, I'm gonna have him not cut. So he's just planting now. And these uh, schoolhouses, they can store make it sound like they're a resource. They can store 20 students. So, if you ever get close to the 20 mark, just make another school. Preferably, be a, preferably away from that one. Like, closer to another residential area, so they do, the students don't have to walk as far. Alright. Well, at least we managed to keep keep up with the tool situation.
I've never had a tornado touch down here so early in a game. Okay, so they're gonna start building the houses now, I'm hoping. Yep, okay. Look at all these houses filled with people. And then this one, which is one person in it. He's just gonna be a bitter old man, I'm sure. Almost done. Come on, build another wooden house. You can do it. Oh, you're building this one instead. What'd you do? Change your mind? Well, I've done that in Minecraft, so I can understand somewhat. Oh, you're working on this one now, are you? You should try to finish what you've started instead of doing it part way and then letting it go and doing something else. Just saying. Although he is by himself. Oh, we got a laborer! Yes! Laborer! Let's make you a... Oh, who moved into these houses? Nobody. Okay. So let's make you... A gatherer. Because it looks like we're doing pretty good with the herbs. Well, they're trying to kill each other upstairs again. Oh! Where'd he go? Oh! So it looks like Artholoman finally decided to move out of his house and actually get a girlfriend. How sweet! And she's just come out of school and she's really into gathering. And she just had her 18th birthday. Isn't that great? Well, there you go. Happy birthday, Timothy. And I'm glad Artholoman finally managed to find true love. Maybe they'll start having babies now. Wish they'd stop dropping stuff upstairs. Yep, when I move out, I'm not having someone live above me. That is a must. <clears throat> And now we're having children being born. There we go, Artholoman and Tamathi finally managed to have a child, Vaughn. How sweet. Oh, hang on. Where's my... There it is. And look, speaking of children, it sounds like we got children just moved upstairs. I can hear them crying. That's just great. So that thump you probably heard, that's probably someone upstairs dropping a child on their head. Let's see... Let's make another house. There's always, it's always a juggle between uh, building houses... Ah crap, I wanted to build something there. Oh well. It's always like a... a a juggle between building houses and building farms and such. Because you don't want to overextend yourself like what I did. Yeah, don't do what I did, viewers. Stay on the safe side. Alright, so looks like we're going to need some more iron soon, so I may as well remove iron. Where is it? Here it is. Because we got a load of iron right here. Think we should try to build a bridge across here? I think we should. Let's do it. So how you build a bridge is you go here, wooden bridge. You can only build wooden bridge. I wish you could build a different kind, but oh well. Stretch it across like that, and when it turns green, let her go. And I'm gonna build a little dirt road to connect to it. So now people got something to do again. So things are shaping up, and we got another laborer. Let's... I think we need another forester. Herbalist is fine, because it looks like nobody's actually feeling at least a little bit sick. We 
should probably build another farm too just to just to keep her going. So looks like uh, Limit and his adoptive son Andro, Andrew, Andrew I was going to call him, uh, Andro is uh, living together. That's sweet. We got another laborer now, Vanesco. Sounds like a company name. Um, let me see. Let's make another fisherman. No, we need a builder. Reserve of stone is low. Um, it's gonna have to stay low for a while, I think. Oh, skip, skip, skip. Let's see. Do we need any more stone for this bridge? Nope. Okay. A child named Aleth is born. Well, you guys didn't have him. There's the there's Aleth. Reserve of firewood is low. That's not good. Um, I don't like harvesting trees in the winter, but I'm gonna have to. Gonna have to do it. They made me do it. Can we even make a road up there? It's been bothering me ever since we started. Uh, no. No, nope, looks like it's impossible. Can't do it. Oh well. What's the speed I'm going on? Ten times, okay. Come on, chap faster! Winter has come! Don't want people freezing. Of all the things you, you don't want, you really don't mm -hmm. want people freezing. Okay, it looks like we survived winter though. That's good. Ah, they're building the house. And no one's come to live. Never mind, Finesco and Treen are there now. And we got another laborer. Okay. Let's get him into... Hmm, what can I get him doing? Let's get him to be a forester. We need more foresters. Let's see how who's gonna live in this house. No one? I think one of the fishermen had come up here. Huh. Okay. These guys are too cold, so we're gonna have to get some firewood on the go. Well, there's lots of trees being chopped down. Now that it's... Let's cut all these trees down, and it's gonna take you the rest of the year to do so, but at least it'll be done. So, oh, Lizetta is now a miserable old woman who's just living by herself. You'd think these two people would just get together. Oh, it looks like this, these people like adopting. There you go. Some people like that kind of thing. Let's see, Theodore and Jamie are still doing pretty good. They got their ch their two children, one of which is a student. I think every time they build a house, they just reshuffle everybody. Oh, there you go. They're having kids too. That's great. Kind of expecting these two to have kids again. Okay. Looks like this is a good little spot here to build crop field. So let's do it. Done. Okay, and this is going to be peppers. We need two more people to work at that. Uh, let's see. 
Looks like our food situation is almost pretty good, so let's get rid of a builder. I'm shuffling along the the jobs. That's the uh, precarious thing about Banished, especially if you have a famine like I did. A child named Chesteban is born. There you go. They're still getting jiggy with it. Oh, I think it's because these two students might have done it. Who knows? Who knows? Anything is possible in this in this world, I found. Okay, so they're building the bridge. Alright, let's get to see the bridge. It's almost done. 16 of 54, 21. Oh, they're going into it right now. Woohoo! They really want to get across there to the new the new land. Because they can't actually get over there unless they walk all the way around. And there you have it, a wooden bridge. Alright, first thing we're going to do is rape and pillage. Remove resources. Let's clear up some land over here. Oh, we got a new pr a new laborer. We have Wall is now a laborer. Let's make him a forester. Okay. So who lives here again? Oh, these two. Okay. I think we're going to build a cemetery over there. It's um like it doesn't really need to be maintained, it just needs to be built. Cuz there's a couple of people here that's getting up there in age and I'm afraid they're going to somebody's going to end up dying. <coughs> so let's slow down time. Stretch the dirt road here if I can manage it. Oh, are you serious? Wow. It'll sooner do that than... C okay. Whatever. Let's see. Dirt road. Let's just turn and do it like that then. Yeah, let's do that. And... Where is it? Here it is. Cemetery. A nice big one to get me started. Because I don't want to have to think about this anytime soon. Let's speed time back up again. We got another laborer. Let's see, we got four farmers. That's good. We'll need another fisherman, I guess. Okay, so it looks like we're really good on cabbage. Next year we'll have peppers to add to it. Okay, actually I think I'm gonna stop here for now. Um, I'll upload these two. Oh, Alicia Marcel is now a laborer. Oh, right, I've already done that. Okay. Anyway, if you want to know, if you want any more, just let me know. But anyway, this is how Banished works. Uh, I'm so glad that tornado didn't just rip through the place. Oh, that would have been terrible. So we dodged a tornado there. It's usually, I'm usually not that lucky. But anyway, that's how things are. You'd think these two would move in up here. Why can't you do that? Oh well. Uh, anyway, I'm going to end off here for real this time. Uh, next time, if you like the video, and I do a next time, we'll continue expanding out over here and have a cemetery. And probably build some other things, like luxurious things to get people's happy up, because it looks like they're not very happy. Not very healthy either. I'm not quite sure what the problem is because there's plenty of herbs. Anyway, we'll address all that next time. This is Tsukihime signing off. Have a good day.